Hi, today Apple released iOS 26 release candidate, the final build that will become the public version if no critical bugs are found. The update is available for all developers and beta testers, and the package size on the iPhone 15 Pro is almost most 8.2 gigabytes. Alongside this, Apple also rolled out RC versions for iPadOS, macOS, watchOS, tvOS, HomePodOS, and even VisionOS. The key thing to know, if Apple makes no further changes, this exact version will go public on September 15th. Otherwise, we might see RC2 or a build with a different number. The first thing you notice is the new welcome screen. It's fully animated, includes Wi-Fi setup, and looks modern. Right after installation, the phone heats up noticeably, but that's normal for major updates. Health and Apple Watch now bring more useful insights. A detailed sleep chart is available, giving you a clear view of your rest patterns and overall quality of sleep. On top of that, Apple has introduced long-awaited hypertension notifications. The watch can track your heart data, detect unusual patterns, and alert you if signs of high blood pressure appear. What's important is that this feature isn't limited to the brand new Series 11 and Ultra 3. It will also roll out to earlier models, starting with Apple Watch Series 9 and Ultra 2, making it accessible to many more users. With iOS 26 RC, the home screen becomes more adaptive. In edit mode, new options let your icons change automatically. When using an official Apple case, the system detects its color and adjusts the icons to match. Switch to a black, blue, or orange case, and the interface instantly follows. Another setting keeps icons aligned with your iPhone's body color, reflecting the exact finish of your device. And if you prefer, you can still link icon colors to your wallpaper. It's a subtle update that makes the home screen feel more personal and refined every time you unlock your phone. Fitness app. In iOS 26 RC, the fitness app gains a new workout tab. Opening it for the first time shows a setup screen with options for workout mirroring, workout buddy, music, and media. After completing the setup, you can select from different guiding voices to accompany your sessions. The tab includes activities such as outdoor walks, runs, cycling, and hiking, with the option to add more. Some features require a Fitness Plus subscription, but the new layout makes workouts more organized and easier to manage on the iPhone. With iOS 26 RC, the interface has become noticeably more transparent. In Apple Music, menus and panels blend smoothly with the background, creating a sense of depth while browsing albums or playlists. The same visual effect extends to third-party apps, where scrolling and transitions feel lighter and more fluid. This subtle improvement adds a modern, polished finish to everyday interactions and makes the overall experience more immersive. With iOS 26 RC, real-time translation becomes available directly through AirPods. The feature will first arrive with AirPods Pro 3, but support is also coming to AirPods 4 and AirPods 2 with active noise cancellation. Once activated, conversations in different languages can be translated instantly as you listen, making travel, work, and communication across languages more natural and effortless. In iOS 26 RC, the Watch app receives a fresh update with new faces designed for the latest Apple Watch models. Owners of Series 11, SE3, and Ultra 3 will find additional styles in the face gallery, offering more ways to customize and personalize their watch. These new designs include modern layouts, detailed complications, and vibrant looks that highlight the larger displays of the new devices. For users, it's an easy way to refresh the watch experience and make the device feel even more individual. In the Journal app, new options have been added that let you keep and manage multiple journals at once. This makes it easier to separate personal notes, work entries, or travel memories and switch between them whenever you need. Apple fixed 53 categories of issues but left 37 known bugs. Among the fixes, the camera mode selection glitch has been resolved and errors in CarPlay have been addressed. However, there is still a delay when sharing a photo immediately after capture. 
minor visual problems remain as well. Icons may disappear when switching styles, and the Wi-Fi toggle is still not animated with the liquid glass effect. Apple confirmed that iOS 26 will be released to everyone on September 15th, alongside macOS 26 Tahoe, watchOS 26, and other updates. On the same day, pre-orders for the iPhone 17 will begin, with sales starting September 19th. The lineup comes in three colors, orange, blue, and silver. All models, including the iPhone 17 Air, feature ProMotion 120Hz displays. iOS 26 RC feels very stable and close to final. There are still some minor visual rough edges, but overall it's already a finished product. If you're on the iOS 26 beta, you can update without hesitation. And if you're still on iOS 18 and want to try something new, now is the perfect time. You'll still have the option to roll back if needed.